Hello viewers, welcome to the video lecture series on machine learning. In this session, I shall explain how to apply the Gauss elimination method on a given data set. We can make use of this Gauss elimination method to arrive at the values for m and c. c is the intercept on y axis, meaning when x equal to 0, what is the value of y? And m is the slope, meaning for every one unit increase in x, y increases by what value? So presently I am just showing you the direct values here like c equal to 0 0.333 is what we are substituting and uh, for m we are substituting 1.5. So in this video I shall explain you how we will arrive at these values of c and m. See, if we know the values for m and c that, that is uh, the slope and the intercept on the y axis that then we can easily predict the values in the given problem statement. Suppose if this is the problem statement, there you can see that one column is having features, the other one is the target. So x is having a value 1, so the target value is 2, if x is 2, the target value is 3, if x is 3, the target value is 5. And if we have to predict what will be the value for 4 and what will be the value for 5 or any number you take, then we need to know the values for m and c because the target what we are writing here is your y, y equal to mx plus c and x is the feature that is this way, this particular column which is given in the data set and y we need to predict. In order to do that we should be knowing the value for m, uh, we should be knowing the value for c. So what is m and what is c, how we can arrive at these values using the Gauss elimination method I shall explain you in this session. Now to apply the Gauss elimination method we should be knowing this particular formula. To arrive at the values of m and c we should be knowing this formula n b0 plus summation of x b1 equal to summation of y this is one equation and the other equation is summation of x into b0 plus summation of x square into b1 equal to summation of x into y. So here if b0 and b1 are the variables which are used in the equation, b0 is simply the value for c and b1 is the value for m. So we are actually trying to find out the values of c and m only but in the equation we are making use of the variables b0 and b1. So for that let me tell you this is the given data set. In the given data set three data points are given 1, 2, 3 and the y is the target label and these are the values. And for that if you observe in the equation, in the first equation we have the variable n, n in this case will be 3, y 3 because there are 3 data points given here in the problem statement, b0 is what we need to find out. So summation of x we can find like this, x value we know 1, 2, 3, when you add up you will get some of the values of x and here the next variable is b1, b1 is the one which we need to find out that is m and next one here is summation of y so when you add up the values of y 2 3 5 this 2 3 5 are given here in the problem statement so the total is what 10 so we can find out that also easily next equation we have summation of x which already we have determined and b0 is the one which we will be finding out summation of x square x square you can write here for the first data point it is 1 second data point it is 4 and third data point 9 so the sum of all these is 14 so we can use here then b1 is the one which we need to find out and x into y is one more sum of x into y so x into y you just write in one column first then add up all these numbers you will get 23 so now these values 6 14 10 23 we can substitute in this two equations here you can check i have substituted this 3 is what your n 6 is summation of x 10 is summation of y this 6 is summation of x 14 is summation of x square 23 is summation of x into y so when you substitute you are getting 3 b0 plus 6 b1 equal to 10 6 b0 plus 14 b1 equal to 23 these two equations you got so normally to apply the gaussian elimination method we need two linear equations two or more linear equations so now we have arrived at these two equations 3b0 plus 6b1 equal to 10 6b0 plus 14b1 equal to 23 okay, now b0 and b1 are the variables so from here onwards you can make use of the same procedure as you have done for the cost elimination method you will first write the augmented matrix 
you will take the coefficients you can ch check here the coefficients are 3 6 6 and 14 3 6 6 and 14 and the constants are 10 and 23 once you form the augmented matrix you can perform any row operation and try to make this value 0 ok below you, the diagonal elements whatever element is there that you have to make it as 0 and that can be easily made it as 0 here you have 6 on the top of this the row elements are 3 6 and 10 if you have to make this as 0 this 6 as 0 then you can multiply by 2 the elements of row 1 and you can make r2 equal to r2 minus of 2 into r1 so 2 into r1 is what here you can check 2 into 3 is 6 so 6 minus 6 will become 0 here 14 minus 6 into 2 12 14 minus of 12 will become 2 23 minus of will become 3 so this is how you have made this element as 0 you can further simplify the first row also the first row you can simplify it by dividing it by 3 suppose if you divide r3 by 3 this will become 3 divided by 3 3 divided by 3 will become here 1 6 divided by 3 will be 2 10 divided by 3 will be 10 divided by 3 only by this we can make smaller values in the row elements now you can take this one so here we were having what b0 this is the coefficient for b0 and this is the coefficient of b1 and this is constant so here b0 is 0 so you can write down 2b1 equal to 3 this is what i have written here 2b1 equal to 3 you can check so when you substitute you will get b1 equal to 3 divided by 2 when you get b1 value you can easily find out b0 b0 you equation you can take it from the first row so b0 is the coefficient of b0 is 1 so 1 into b0 is b0 plus 2 into b0 plus 2 b1 equal to 10 by 3 so b1 we know it is 3 by 2 so substitute here then simplify simplify once you simplify you will get b0 value equal to 1 divided by 3 so b0 you are getting it as 1 divided by 3 and b1 what you got b1 you got it as 3 by 2 okay so your b0 is what c and your b1 is your m we, we wanted the values for c and m once you get the values for c and m now you can predict the value here that means you can find out for any value of x what will be the value for y this was the thing in the problem statement if x is 1 2 3 and the target values are 2 3 5 next time if x is equal to 4 what is the target value and next time if x is equal to 5 what is the target value like this for any value of x you can easily find out the value for y here i am showing for what will be the value for y if x equal to 4 so y equal to mx plus c is the equation m is 1.5 x is 4 and c is 0.33 so y will be how much 6.333 what will be the value for y if x is equal to 5 it will be 7.833 so 6.3 and 7.8 so for value 4 you will get 6.333 and for value 5 you will get 7.833 so in order to predict the values in the given data set this is how you can arrive at the values of m and c using the gauss elimination method hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care